things. What we're going to work on today is a little bit of a um, Easter egg built into InDesign CS5. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to build a custom stroke. So I'm going to come over here to the stroke panel. I'm going to click on that. And then on the pop-out menu here, I'm going to go over to Stroke Styles. Uh, you might not even know this is here. This has been in the last two or three versions. I'm going to come over here to Stroke Styles. I'm going to come over here and you can see there's some Stroke Styles already that are built in. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to click New. Here I'm going to go up to the top and I'm going to type in the Easter egg word here of L-I-G-H-T for lights. And I'm going to come over and I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to click OK. Now that adds right here a little item called lights. I'm going to click OK. Uh, I'm going to go over and I'm going to take my ellipse tool and I'm going to go out here and I'm going to drag myself out an ellipse. I'm going to go uh, Shift, Alt, or Option. And I'm going to drag it out from the center, maybe about all oh, that large or so. And I'll come over here and I'm going to change my type down to my new stroke I built called lights. Now i got to make my stroke width a little bit wider, otherwise you won't be able to see the light. So I'm going to make it about 40 points. Hit enter. And voila, there's my custom stroke called lights. Now what I'm going to do here is I want to um, build an animation of the lights going on and off. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to make a copy of this. And I'm going to paste another copy back in the same place. And I have two copies of this now. If I move this over, you can see that, and I'll just undo it. And on this one, I'm going to apply an effect. So I'm going to come over to my panels over here. I'm going to look for my different effects. I don't see effects right here, so let's just go up to Window to Effects and bring up that panel. And here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to the FX button. I'm going to come down, and I'm going to add what's called an inner glow. And some parameters I've found to work with on here is I'm going to go ahead and set the opacity up here to about 100%. Uh, I'm going to set up for screen mode, uh, soft, and here's the kind of the key. I'm going to add this inner glow to the center of the um, stroked object. So now if I come over here and click on preview, you can actually see it. This is with it off. This is with it on. So it gives it kind of an, a, a faint glowy effect. I'm going to go ahead and click OK and I'll move my effects panel over here and I'll just dock it underneath my stroke panel here in case I need it again. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my layers panel. In layers I have uh, two items here, one called circle and the other one's called circle also because the two ellipses. I'm going to double click on here and rename this top circle if I can. I'm double clicking and I'm just going to name this on. I'm going to come down on this one and I'm going to eventually get a hold of it and I'm going to name it off. And what I want to do is I want to um, animate those in a few seconds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the on layer item and I'm going to come over here and I'm going to bring up my animation panel. In my animation panel here I'm going to first click on the top on object or ellipse. I'm going to come under my presets and I'm going to pick appear. So I'm just going to do a simple um, animation of going from one object to the other object and I'm just going to tell this one to stay up here for about a second and I'm going to loop it and I'm going to click on this little icon in the lower left for preview the spread and when I do this we'll see a little animation here. Let me make this a little bit bigger for you can see. So now you can see the lights are going on and off, except we have this real bad, ugly stroke here. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead, close the preview, and I've discovered if I go to my layers panel, and what I do is I'm going to hide the off layer. I'm going to now take this file and I'm going to export it out as a PDF. I'm going to come over here and make it a smallest file size PDF and I'm just going to name this um, lights on. I'm going to click export here. I'm just going to take the defaults 
And then I'm going to come back to my document. I'm going to turn off the on layer. I'm going to turn back on the layer with the off lights. And I'm going to export this out as a smallest file size PDF again. I'm going to name this Lights Off. Go ahead and save it. And I'm going to export it out here. So now I'm going to turn on both of the layers and I'm actually going to select both these items and just delete them. Next I'm going to go out and I'm going to place file, place, and I'm going to place those two items. Here's lights off and I'm going to hold my shift key and get lights on and I'm just going to click open. Now I've got my gun loaded with both of them. I'm going to go ahead and click and place the first one and I'll just go ahead and click and place the second one. Now the first one here, I'm going to move this kind of down and lock it into the center of where my guidelines are. And I'll come over with the same set of lights here and I'm going to just lock them into here so they're perfectly aligned. In fact, if I want to make sure they're perfectly aligned, I can select them both. Go up to the uh, window menu, come down to object and layout, pick a line and say align horizontal, align vertical and now I know they're aligned perfectly. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change my display performance for these items. So I'm going to go over here to display performance and I'm going to pick high quality just so they look a lot better. Next I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to um, come back to my animation panel here again and I'm going to click on this top item with the lights on and I'm going to reanimate this. So I'm going to pick choose appear one second duration loop and I'm going to click on the little preview icon here I'm going to preview the spread and should be voila the lights are flashing on and off how cool is that next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the top stack of lights here I'm going to go over and I'm just going to enhance that a little bit by going to effects FX and I'm going to come down to bevel and emboss and I'm just going to add a, a bevel and emboss to this uh, let's see here I'm just going to use the default like of seven pixels inner bevel smooth and up and I'm just going to click OK now uh, I'm going to apply the same effect to the back set lights so I'll show you a little trick here in case you don't know about it I'm going to move this one aside and this is the one that has the bevel and emboss on it and you can see the FX here in the FX panel and the one I should be pointing at is the one up here. If I take this FX I can drag it onto another object within my document and apply the same effect. So it just saves me some time there. And I could have also made it an object style and applied it too. So again I'm going to line these two up. I'm going to go over to my uh, preview here on my panel and I'm going to click play and I'm going to take a look and see how it looks and it's flashing on and off. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and turn on a couple of layers that I've already got done. Uh, one of the layers here is called the wreath and this is just a wreath I made up ahead of time like in Illustrator I just did a step and repeat with some ellipses and put that around there and then also I've got you know the happy holidays text inside of here uh, now I'm going to go ahead and change my view over here to uh, preview. And that's going to turn off the guide so you can see this a little bit better. And then I'll go over here on my preview panel and I'm going to click play. And in a few seconds here it should spool up and then give me my little preview of my ha happy holidays. Let me make this a little bit bigger. I'll just drag the preview window out here a little bit bigger and it should scale up so you can see it. So there you go. Um, you can now export this out as a uh, Swift file. So if I go over here to File, to Export, come over here and I'll just come down to my different modes here. I'll pick, we'll say, Flash Player. Swift and I'll name this Lights wreath and I'll just go ahead and save it and I'm just going to take the defaults here and I'm going to go ahead and click OK
and I'm just going to switch over to here and in a few seconds it should open up my browser and show me my little um, holiday wreath here playing. So we'll have a little patience here and there you go. Uh, just a happy holidays here from ESOL Solutions. So I hope you enjoyed this. Um, again, we kind of explored how we get access to some uh, unique strokes. One of those is called lights, and I'm going to put up on the blog another little note about some other Easter egg strokes that you can actually go in there and use also, like smiley faces and feet and different things like this. Thank you again.